Hello YouTube, and today you're probably thinking, oh, is it time for account reviews? What does this thumbnail say? What do you mean there's two giant killer heroes on this account? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have ourselves one of the weirdest account reviews I've done in a while. And I'd always say that at the start of them, but it's because they're all weird because we wouldn't review them if they weren't. But this one is weird for a very special reason. And rather than giving you a whole preamble, I just want to show you. Look, it looks solid. We got Tree of Origin 5, Tree of Origin 5, Tree of Origin 5, Tree of Origin 5, boom, two A tier heroes. Don't mind this A minus Ithaqua giant killer down here. She's just here to shred broken spaces. But you know, we've got ourselves a Tree of Origin 2 Asmodel, so you're probably thinking, okay, this guy's pretty capped on resources. He's slowly building up. What the heck? An Elena with no Void Imprints, but we've got Void Imprints on Rogan, Flora. I, I guess, yeah, it's Star Expedition week. At least it is right now for us here. At least it, no, it, is, it isn't. That's a lie. It was Star Expedition. He's just not tidied it up since Star Expedition. Still, forgivable. We'll allow him on all this. Take a look at his gems. 108,000. 6.5 billion gold. Level 302 VIP 11. This is War Hoodie. We were meant to review this account in January, and we never managed to get time. A lot has happened since then, and this guy is struggling at many, many things. So today we're going to be talking about later game Void Campaign, Realms Gate, and we're going to build some teams to do that. A lot of the questions he's asking involve trying to get Jara to work well. Typically, you'd make her a homeowner to make her nice and fast. But in the case of this account, we've got a giant killer Vessa and a giant killer Sword Flash, so we need to make them powerful. Now, one of the big issues with this account is resources. If you take a look, we only have 19,000 Stellar Shards. The reason that's the case is because we put everything else into a lot of the heroes we're using as tenants or into our Tree of Origin stuff. You can see we have 6.8 million Crystals of Transcendence. This means he hasn't decided his next Transcendence hero. He's got options. He could go with Lord of Fear Aspen, Star Alchemist, Home Jung. Heck, you'll have noticed he has core chests, so he could go ahead and easily make a Star Alchemist, Home Jung with a core at least upgraded by one level, so that's kind of wild. And if you go through all the chests as well, you start to panic a little bit, because one of the things he said to me is, how do I get Celestial Island resources? He says, while sitting on a lot of Material Selection Chest 2s. And it's not just Material Selection Chest 2s he's got a lot of. This guy just has everything. Every single chest you could imagine in this game is on this guy's account. Some of these chests, I imagine a lot of you players are looking at and going, what the heck? I've never seen that before. Nine! Nine star puppet chests. We have ourselves 1,825 VIP material selection chests. Do you not know how many stellar shards that is? Let me show you. It's this many. 4.5 million. Dude. That is not okay. You can't be hoarding like this, but my friend is. And today we're going to help War Hoodie by opening all of this and assisting him with his decisions on his account to try and get him to beat a few of the milestones he's got sorted. We're going to be using preset lineups, we're going to be using a lot of stuff in the Celestial Island just to try and get that Vessa and that Sword Flash with that Jara as strong as possible. Step one is going to be to sort out our homes. So you'll see here, this house is 60s across the board for Sword Flash. Now, I would ideally focus on house number two, and house number four, because you've probably heard it a million times by now, but if you didn't know, those are the places Transcendence Heroes go for other Transcendence Heroes, and Transcendence Heroes always give the best amount of resources and stats and all that loveliness that makes your hero stronger, so you want that. As it comes for this Vessa though, she's just sat on 105 across the board, that's fine, so we don't have to worry about this. So what I would like to do for this account is to level up these here, because these ones are going to give us the most progress. Now, if we run out of resources like we just did, we need to go ahead and pull those chests that we have so that we can make more progress. And it's really important that our friend here does this. So if we take a look, a lot of these chests here, I mean, I'm, I'm lost by a lot of these chests. We've got to try and find all the different ones that give resources. Now, I think he wants to keep maybe one of each chest, so we'll, we'll leave this for him, I think. But then when it comes to these chests, these material selection chest twos, we absolutely need to pull those open. God, he's got seven artifact chests as well. Dude, this guy's worse than me. Uh, let's go and pull, okay, this one here. Yeah, so we're after rock and we're after fluorite. So we, we need to get those things in. So let's open this. We're going to get fluorite from there. That's a material chest. So we'll grab this for rock and then we'll just keep switching between them, right? Even this, look, loads here. That's a ton of floor right there. We'll leave him one. There you go. 
Uh, let's go and find the rest of the stuff. There's... Where the heck are the material selection chest two is gone? Because he's getting tons of them. And we need to find them. There you go. There's four right there. Oh, my goodness. So rock twice. Fluorite twice. Let's go put that to good use. So there you go. That's four levels we've just managed to do. Okay, only three. This is the scary thing with these resources. They disappear fast. So we're 71 there, 69 on Holora. So let's go take Holora's one higher again. So we're going to go to the bag. And where's that Lutz one? Now, here's a question. This is a really rare chest that is only ever given out maybe once. Do you want me to open this? All right, he wants me to pop this one too. That's great. So we'll get some rock from that one. Say goodbye to this. Maybe they'll give it again in New Year's or something. I don't know. We'll just have to find out. Either way, that'll do with our opening of that for now. And I mean for now. We'll probably go back and do some more stuff if we need to. But that's from those major chests that we've got. And that's another few levels here. So we're level 71 on both of these. If you got yourself some skins, we'd be level 76 as well, which would be nice and strong. And that's taken Sword Flash up. By no means is she super duper strong at this point. She's on 4.2 million, uh, which is still fairly high. But obviously, to get them higher, we could X upgrade both Sword Flash and Vessa. Now, this is something he's not done on the account, uh, which I'm genuinely surprised by, because X upgrades are nuts, and if you take a look at his spirit and his gold, you'd be thinking, well, why the heck wouldn't he X upgrade? And I agree, why wouldn't he? Because he has 8,225 X stones. So I think we should X upgrade some of these heroes. Quick upgrade to 60. Do the same with Sword Flash. And uh, we'll leave it there. Right, that's enough for an E5-ish. Um, he can get more spirit as well. But two level 60s on X upgrades is pretty tasty. Right, okay. How's our stats looking now? 8.9 million on Vesa. So she's nearly 9 million attack. We've got up to 4.6 on Sword Flash as well. Okay, that's cool. Now, what I was hoping we could do was add some more Tree of Origin levels to Halora and Asmodel. If we can get those to even higher levels we will absolutely add so many more stats into Sword Flash. Ideally, we would like both of them, because them both living is going to be good for the team. Asmodel attacking slows down opponents. That could be quite useful in Void Campaign. He also hits quite hard and adds to survivability. Halora, similar thing. She adds to survivability as well. She can potentially heal the team if you get sublimation on her. She brings a lot to the account as well. So you might think, where the heck are we going to get the Stellar Shards from to do this? Well, it's quite simple, really. We just pulled a ton. So we could go and Tree of Origin 2 the Halora right now. I think that's probably a solid start. I think Halora might be a better investment just because she has the stronger passives of the two of them. And then they can be sublimed to be much more powerful. One increases defenses, one increases healing, one increases damage, right? They, they're, they're pretty solid passives if you can get them both upgraded on Halora. And her active skill as well is kind of wild. Asmodel, on the other hand, I don't think you need his active skill. You've upgraded this? I don't think it's necessary. So what I'm thinking, call me crazy, but this guy's got 215 soul symbols. I would feel super comfortable swapping Asmodel out and then putting him back in, literally just to get the active skill off the Asmodel so we can put it into Halora. That way we get the strong active from Halora, which would then synergize with the rest of the account nicely. And I think that's just gonna help us in general. Asmodel would just be here as a glorified tenant that's there to slow down opponents. I don't think you ever need to put sublimation into an Asmodel unless you were going to make him your main homeowner. So I think we should do that. Who do you want your next Transcendence hero to be? Because you, my friend, already have 5 million crystals, so we only have to swap out once. So if we make sure that we swap it into your next Transcendence hero... Then you just build them up from the scratch. You want me to make the call? Oh, that's terrifying. You could go with something silly like like Mockman or or you even said Azrael, but like you said you could use them as tenants, but for who, right? Well, for Sword Flash, you could go with Azrael as a tenant. I'd rather just build Asmodel the Dauntless. I don't think you're going to make Asmodel a homeowner. You've got the A-tier Sword Flash, the A-tier Vessa. So the only reason I would build Vulcan or go ahead and build yourself a Mockman is if you were going to get an A-tier of one of those. Like, you could argue that a B-plus Vulcan will outperform an A-tier Sword Flasher and an A-tier Giant Killer 
there, so maybe, right? Lord of Fear Aspen's another option because he can crowd control. That's pretty helpful. You might not necessarily use it. I think Holmes Young is actually your best bet because if you built up a Holmes Young, eventually down the line when you're ready to use him, you could easily go ahead and give him a core of origin because you've got all these core of origin chests. He's even got down here, if you look, a box that specifically gives 100 of any core of origin shot he wants. So he could literally just get Star Alchemist Holmes Young's core of origin right now. So Star Alchemist Holmes Young with the core of origin upgraded is actually going to be really helpful in campaign. So I actually think Star Alchemist Holmes Young's the core, which is someone I don't think he even considered. But with the core, very powerful hero. He's going to help your giant killers, not hinder them. And actually synergizes really nicely. You've even got just mage gear here on this Sherlock, so you can actually just make that home Jung. Because you don't need Sherlock anymore, I'll tell you that for sure. And then yeah, Sherlock's not even on a main lineup. Yeah, you do not use Sherlock anymore. There's no reason to. And you could argue, but use him in Seal Land. Uh, I'd rather use a Star Alchemist Home Jung with a core, <laughs> if I'm honest. So yeah, that's all good. So let's go ahead and convert this. Let's put in all these Holmeses. And there you go, guys. That is going to be an E5 Holmes Young. Beautiful. So what we're going to do now is go into the Gate of the Void, Evolution Cube, Replace, and this time I can put Asmodel in, I can put that Holmes Young in, and that's going to swap them across. That's going to cost me 10 Soul Symbols. So we end up with a Star Alchemist Holmes Young here. The big thing we wanted from this is to get all that sublimation stuff from the active back. That's really good. Now the other thing we can go ahead and do here is actually put the Asmodel in the Evolution Cube, because you already have 5 million Crystals of Transcendence. So we actually just get to instantly rebuild Asmodel anyway, and he becomes transcendent. So there you go. Sweet. Okay, now let's get this Halora leveled up. That was the main reason we did this, so that we can Tree of Origin her and get her an improved active. Because Halora's active skill is really, really strong. So any opportunity to give her that without having to pull any sublimation chests, absolutely worth it. So cap's been broken on that. Let's go with another level. And ideally, I want to get it to a point where we can start upgrading these passives here. Because we've got Royal Guard, which when upgraded starts getting some crazy stuff. HP and attack on her goes up. All damage reduction is increased. And actually the counterattacks reduce the enemy's attacks. So that's a nice debuff. For every one ally on the battlefield, Halora actually heals herself by her max HP. But then if you go and upgrade this, she actually passes that healing on to everybody else as well. Really nice stuff here. HP restoration gets increased. So this is a good healing effect. Pretty solid. And it's max HP healing as well. So it scales nicely. We're going to go ahead and let's let's start by making this breakthrough so we can go ahead and start upgrading the active skill. There you go. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade this and we're going to do it again. Pure sublimation. Let's go with deep sublimation and then, of course, noble sublimation. And that's done. Sweet. Right. Next up, we need to start leveling her levels. So let's quick upgrade this to 370. That's good. And now comes the question, Asmodel or Halora, which one to Tree of Origin 5? I think Halora. Let's go check our sublimation materials. Can we actually upgrade both passives? Passive skill 1 and passive skill 2? You just have little bits of that sitting around? That's really weird. Now we need to worry about the sublimation. We were talking about Asmodel, we were talking about Halora, but actually one hero that isn't fully upgraded is Swordflash. She needs to get her passive 2 upgraded Presence of Mind, which is going to be a double bonus for us, because if you go ahead and look at the Glory Challenge, you'll see we're in a really cool spot, because if we go ahead and upgrade that, we'll unlock this for having all of the upgrades on a Transcendence Hero's skills. So let's go get that done. So we're going to open this, and we're going to go for passive number 2, Two, which is that one there. Confirm, open up, 90k. That takes to 121. So we need another 60,000. I'm going to open this for passive skill two as well. It might seem weird that we're now 210. That's over it, but we'll fix that up. So let's go to Sword Flash. We'll go ahead and upgrade her here. So that's going to be Presence of Mine upgraded. And we'll just keep going until it's Noble Sublime. There we are. Now, the fact that that's done is going to give us a reward in the Glory Challenge. As you can see, we've got a little dot there. That's going to get us some lovely stuff, two of those chests. And those two chests together will iron out that number of 31k. That's 60k, so that'll take us to 90k, which we can then use with these additional chests here to upgrade Halora, which is good. There you go. Cap is broken. Tree of Origin level three. And we'll do the same again. 
Uh, there we go. Tree of Origin level four. So now we need to worry about upgrading these skills. We're on 45k. So what we're going to do is go back to the bag. And let's go pull out these lemon chests. So we're going to go for passive skill two. Take that up. Open that twice. 60k. Which now takes us to 91. Which is a much more satisfying number. <laughs> and uh, then we're going to probably... Actually, you know what I should do? We should probably switch the thing he's looting to active skills. Because active skills are more useful. We can now go ahead and upgrade Halora in her passive. So upgrade this. There you go. And upgrade again. And then we need to open two more chests to get that fully done. So let's go in to the bag. And we're going to open these two for the same thing. And that's two more upgrades. Perfect. And that's more sublimation, of course, on Halora. Now, ideally, we want to get a Tree of Origin 5 so she has that final passive upgraded as well, because that's going to give us better Queen's Guard bonuses. But I think for now, that's okay. And I don't want to use too many Stellar Shards. So Tree of Origin 4 is a good stopping point here. First things first, we're going to make this guy a team for Realmsgate. Because that's one of the things he's struggling with. He needs something that can deal reliably with Realmsgate. So, the formation is going to be all of his Tree of Origin 5 heroes. Halora and Asmodel. It's, it's that simple. And then we're going to be adding in... Honestly, it, we probably want to go with Nimeon just for survivability. And the order is going to be Halora at the front. Then I think Jar in slot 2. Maybe even, like these guys in slot are yeah that's fine that's it's not gonna matter what the slot order is so we're gonna save that gotta make sure we've got ourselves here it's definitely gonna be jara's core that's bonkers and now he's been struggling putting together this team it's actually really simple what we're gonna want to be doing we actually just only care about building these heroes so that they can survive so we're just gonna go with really healthy stuff here our big damage dealers of course we'll build aggressively we'll definitely still want control purify that's fine uh starring jara she's here to crowd control so it does not matter how much attack she's got so we can build her to survive as well and then we'll start worrying about speed stats when we need to fine tune that stuff but that's okay for vessa and then Mystic Fairy Freya is fine. Asmodel the Dauntless, he's going to need to live too. Again, not built for damage here. Built for survivability. So, we need Demon Bells on absolutely everybody. And then we need Jar with a Receptor. That's the team. It might sound weird, but that will win. I absolutely promise you. And you're probably thinking, wait, what? Why are you doing this? Well, our win condition here is not to use sword flash and and uh Vesa just to mow them all down because you're gonna do that anyway given the fact that those heroes are giant killer the real damage is gonna come from jara ccing the opponents and you not dying so we need to make sure we're tuned up on speed here we need to make sure mystic fairy freya is as fast as possible so we're gonna go speed hp here that's excellent she's 2165 we're gonna take her even faster so she's now 2205. Now that's going to be our speed threshold. So as long as we can keep everyone under 2205, we're fine. Uh, so you know what? Can't really do that with Fairy Queen Vessa unless I start taking boots off of her. And I don't even think that's going to do it. No, it's just because she's an A tier. That's understandable. Sword Flash is though. That's good. We'll leave her under there. We're going to go attack, attack, holy damage on her. She's going to hit like a truck. We've got ourselves Halora. She's going to be okay. Uh, make sure she's built properly. Damage reduction, control immunity, and armor. That'll work just fine. Uh, we've got to make sure we're good here. Damage reduction, crit damage, and crit. You know what? That's going to be actually okay here. That's That should be totally fine. Uh, we've got ourselves Starving Jar, of course. She's built attack, attack. Don't even need attack, attack here. Could just go speed precision. Uh, that's a bit of a bold choice, though. Because then she's too fast. Yeah, she's too fast. Uh, so yeah, we'll go attack, attack. And then um, just so she's not super slow, I'm going to do this. So she's now 2152, which means Halora will be underneath her. That's good. And then we probably want to make sure Asmodel's underneath her. Uh, yes, Asmodel's speed's underneath. So the reason we want Asmodel to be slower and the Halora to be slower is so that when they do active skills, they're going to go ahead and energy feed your... Uh, your Jara. So you were struggling because you weren't getting heroes uh, to energy feed Jara properly. So this will work. And having five Splendid Demon Bells means everyone just continuously does active skills. Let's go and just put that team together in the Realms Gate. So he's currently on Void Corruption 116. And he was worried like, oh, I'm struggling against this. I get wrecked by it. Let's see if that's the case with this team now. So we're going to go preset lineup. 
We're going to go Realm's Gate. And I'm not going to skip the battle. Let's go see what happens. The idea here is that we go and crowd control all of the opponents. So there you go. Active skill, active skill. And then here comes Jara. Everyone CC'd. Bang. And the reason this works is because if Jara has more energy, and it's actually 200 energy that she's got, she'll do the chance to CC opponents twice. So that's huge. So that's a big W right there. So we're going to use that team again against a Dark Wave this time. This should be totally clean as well. So there you go. Already killed a bunch of them. Soul Flash gets an early kill. Crowd Control comes in there. Do watch out, though, with Dark Waves and Light Waves. They do have inbuilt control immunity. Quite a significant amount. Actually, you can see it's 24% there. We still beat them. Absolutely fine. So that's okay. Now, what's your Void Corruption level here? I'm going to double check this before we go and fight something else. Um, oh, he, he can go up to 117. Okay, that's fantastic. Now, let's go see what this puppet is that we have to fight. And I'm going to show you a team to deal with this as well. So let's skip battle here on this one. That'll be totally easy. And we have here Atrocity. Okay, an ancient ritual of trials originating with the Broken Realm, blah, blah, blah. Opponents in this trial will pose grave threat to your heroes in the back line. To make things worth, if you fail to defeat the trial puppet within five rounds, they will become frenzied and at the beginning of round six, sharply increase their damage dealt by basic attacks and active skills. Okay, so we're going to put together a team that beats this. We need survivability. So we're actually going to put in Olivia, and we're going to put in Amon Ra if you have her. Uh, you don't have Amon Ra, so that might be a hero you want to consider building, because Amon Ra's bubbles are nuts in Realm Skate. Absolutely crazy strong. So there's a hero you can consider adding to your account. Uh, seeing as you don't have an Amon Ra, I will actually just put back in the... Um, the Asmodel. The reason I'm not running Jara is because you can't crowd control puppets. That's something you need to know because a lot of people run into mistakes with that. Um, so we're going to go for Burst here. So we're going to go for Phoenix, which is going to be fine. And then the rest of the team, just got to make sure people are kind of lined up okay. Save things here. Now, again, we're going to go a similar lineup to last time. We're going to go pure survivability. So I want HP, HP, Scarlet Queen, Allure here. All built properly. We've got all the protection stuff. Yep, damage reduction block crit damage that'll be fine and we're gonna go with crit here damage reduction crit damage on sword flash that's okay she should be fine here put in full armor we're gonna go bursty here so i want melodic strings on your sword flash that's fine mystic fairy freya speed hp uh similar thing right fully defensive so we want shelter instead and uh, we'll leave her nice and quick and then olivia she should just stay alive if we give her a golden crown. And HP, HP. Perfect. I'm actually going to go two and two split as well. Because that's going to be real nice for her HP stat. And then on top of that, we're going to go Fairy Queen Bessa. Crit, crit attack. Demon Bell will be fine. And then we need defensive stuff here on Asmodel. So that's all good. Now, the one thing I haven't added is damage over time purify. That's going to be the pretty big thing that makes the difference here. Because you'll be able to use this against enemy puppets that damage over time. So I'm just going to put dot purify on the majority of these and then you should be okay to go forwards against most of the puppets that do that now in other cases i would absolutely get amon ra on your team it would be huge right absolutely huge so build an amon ra because using amon ra and olivia together similar style thing right you can just go golden crown and then make sure everyone else is energy feeding it's a bonkers kind of strategy and actually you know what i'm gonna do Instead of all like strings, Antler's Cane Sword Flash. Save. Now let's go see what happens. So we'll go fight this puppet. Go to the Realm's Gate. Here we go, 117. This should not be hard. Put your team together. Here we go. And preset lineup is going to be damage over time, atrocity, anything like that. Bulwark, those guys. Let's go see what happens. We attack. And here, Sword Flash already doing huge damage. Didn't get a kill. It's not going to matter too much, though. When she does, she will absolutely pop off. If she does. There you go. That's the end of round one. There you go. Bang. You killed it by round two. You should have no problem against Realm's Gate with those two teams. Eventually, you'll start fighting puppets that you cannot beat. And that's because they'll be either with too much HP, so you need to keep the whole team alive. And 
another trick is there's going to be ones that crowd control you. You're going to want to have a bunch of Ignuses that will go next to your three main survivable heroes, which will be Halora, Freya, and Fairy Queen Bessa. So you put all three of those in, spread apart, and then Ignis is next to each one so you can make them all control immune. And then you just go to try and stay alive. Just give them Golden Crown on the Halora and the Freya. And then for the Vessa, you give her Antlers Cane so she can eventually pop off. And that will allow you to live and push through there. Now, the next problem we need to go and deal with is Void Campaign, as he was struggling against some levels in there. So let's go ahead, full equip uh, Fairy Queen Vessa. And this will be really easy. We're just going to go Demon Bells on everybody. So let's just start with that. So you have one, two, three. No, we need a Demon Bell for Mystic Fairy Freya. Who's wearing the final Demon Bell? Is it Elena? Who is it? Who's got our last Demon Bell? Oh, it's Drake. So take that off him. And let's go make sure that we have... There we go. Mystic Fairy Freya with a Demon Bell. Now, when it comes to speed, I don't know if we're going to be faster than this wave. So I'm actually going to build us really defensively. I'm going to assume that we're not fast enough. Let's try this. If it doesn't work, back to the drawing board. Put these guys in. And we're going to want... Let's start with Snake. See if anything changes. Here we go. Didn't even put him in an order where Halora was at the front. So we're too slow here. We got been doved. Yeah, that's a problem. Okay, so there's our issue. Jara got doved. And then she gets silenced. So we put some control immunity on Jara. We should be absolutely fine. Uh, actually, we want control immunity on the whole team. Damage reduction, control immunity, holy damage on everybody. Okay, another thing I want to try. How fast can we make this Fairy Queen Vessa? Speed attack, 2377. Gorgeous. What can we do with the Sword Flash? Can she do the same? Speed attack, 2303. If we bump this up, how high can we go? Because if we can get them faster than the wave... That's really exciting. So we'll just see if that's enough. I mean, 2417's massive. So hopefully that's going to be enough speed. If it isn't, well, rip. Let's go see what happens then. And this time I'm going to remember to activate the core on Jar, which makes a significant difference. We're going to put Halora at the front. And let's put Asmo slot 2. See what the team will do. Here we go. Okay, there you go. Vesa is already quicker. That's nice. Giving us shields there, which is strong. We get extra armor as well from Vessa's active skill. Sword Flash comes in too. Fab. Okay, now the homes are going to join in. Asmo died, but oh, big. CC there from the jar. Fantastic. Oh, then she gets doved. That's annoying. Okay, I think Vessa will get an active here, hopefully. Come on. Come on. Oh, Sword Flash goes. There's Snake. Ah, uh, and then we mostly die. God, these guys are annoying. Right. New option. Ithaca's imprints. Removed. And then we're going to go ahead and upgrade Elena. Now, granted, Elena does not have any sublimation. Which could be a bit weird. But she's a pretty solid hero nonetheless. And we give her like a golden crown or something to stay alive. And hopefully her passive alone will break us free from CC. And we'll have a much higher chance of winning. Just gotta hope that works out. So she's got gear. We're gonna go with golden crown for the protection. The hero we're not gonna use here is probably Asmodel. So I'm gonna give Asmodel a flag. That's quite nice. Elena goes in. And this would be quite fun for those of you asking if you should run Asmodel or Elena, because that's one of the choices people often get to when they get to six Transcendence Heroes, is which they pick. So this might sway you a little bit. I'm hating Jara's HP right now. She needs healing. Uh, there's the active. We CC'd both home Jungs. Oh, it's really big. Oh, it's fantastic. That's really, really strong. Oh, CC the backline again? Hello. Oh, damage over time killed us. So a little trick we can do with Elena now is we can actually run damage over time purify on our heroes. 
and there's a chance that Elena will let us break free from crowd control, and then the damage over time does everything else. So, it's pretty fun. Damage over time, purify, and then we'll see what happens here. Hopefully a different result. Let's see what happens. Active skill. Already getting a CC on the ticks. That's very good. Hate Jara's health right now, but it happens. Just got to learn to deal with it. Don't die, Jara. She's been hit a few times. There's the active. Oh, full backline CC. Let's go, Jara. Oh, and then she died. That's unfortunate. Then again, that might just be enough to win. Could genuinely be enough to win. Freya's got an active coming up as well, which is quite helpful. Oh my word, that Tix is about to die. Ah, oh, Elena getting doved is a problem. She needs control purify. She really needs control purify. I don't know if it's Elena doing the heavy lifting or damage over time purify doing the heavy lifting. Because we're about to clear this. 100%. I say that. I say that. <gasps> oh! Holmes Young! Right, okay, there you go. Control immunity on the Elena, and we win. I'm going to slow the Jara down, or speed the others up so they're faster than Jara, just so that her round one active skill can destroy the enemy team. Provided she lives, that will help. Come on, Freya. Don't die. There we go. Active from Jara. Then Freya. What the? Why is... Why is Freya going after Jara? What the nonsense was that? And why the heck was Freya slower? I'm really confuddled. One, two, one, six, five. Jara, two, one, one, two. What? What? I, I, yeah, it could have been Holmes' is slow. But doesn't that slow everybody? Depends on where the potions land. No, the, the speed potion affects everybody. And the guy didn't even do an active. There was no speed debuff out there. What are we missing? Unless the speed on Jar is wrong. Like it's just being displayed wrong. If someone knows what's happening here, let me know in the comment section. Because I am genuinely puzzled by this. And I find it quite humbling. Right, Jar good CC here. As long as she keeps that up, we should be absolutely fine. We might even kill a Sherlock here. Like, we, we, we seem in a really good position. Oh, we absolutely do. Oh my god, double kill from Sword Flash. We've still got Jar alive. Even more CC. Those Holmeses haven't moved. There's the snake. Jar is dead, but it might not matter. Holmeses just could fall here. Elena's still alive. That's big! Oh, that's so big. Yes! Come on! Oh! <gasps> Oh, come on. Come on, Vessa. Come on. Come on. We just need an active from Vessa. Oh, no! 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 Oh! That was close, man. And it seems no matter what we did to Freya's speed, even like bump bumping it up even higher, they still did exactly the same thing. Oh, that's really good active skill there from Swordflash. That Tix is super low. Jara CC. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Could even take down that Tix at the back there if we're lucky. Oh, he's so close to being dead. Tix did get an active. That's annoying. That's going to be some attack still we have to deal with. Jara could get an active of her own if we're lucky. Yep. Big CC. Amazing. Shields are really high on our heroes now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Jara with another one. Let's go. Oh, that was great from Sword Flash. <gasps> oh, we could kill one of the Holmeses. Yes! One Holmes is dead. This has to be a win. Surely. Surely now. Our whole team's still alive. Yes! Come on. Absolutely clean up time. Yep. Vess has got an active. Single target. That's just dead. Let's go! Oh. Screw you, game, with your buggy speed nonsense and eat that. War Hoodie, go ahead and enjoy 
some new void campaign progress. With that wave cleared, go and have fun. Giant killer Vessa, giant killer Swordflash. What a crazy account. So much stuff hoarded up. Still so much room to progress. Today was just a little insight into what this guy's been up to. It's bonkers how much stuff he's got. He can still experiment with 200 soul symbols. And War Hoodie, just find something that you enjoy. Go have some fun. And um, if you ever want to pop in again, if you find another thing that you're really struggling with, let us know. We'll set you up. Don't forget about those little teams I uh, advised you about in Realmsgate. That'll give you some progress there against puppets. Keep using that team we put together here as well, just for dealing with waves. And um, if you ever get to another challenge, come hit us up again and we'll try and overcome that. But yeah, War Hoodie, crazy account, lots of fun. And uh, it's fun to see an account with Vessa Swordflash as A tiers. So yeah, if you guys want to join us for account reviews, it probably won't be as in-depth as this one, but if you do want to join us, join us on a Tuesday and have some one-to-one -one back and forth with me. Sometimes though, you do just need to log in to either react to the crazy amount of hoarding that's been going on or solve the really tricky stuff that people are struggling with. I'll see you next time, folks. Don't forget to subscribe. And of course, happy island.